Hello, wonderful people. I just got done recording a podcast for my Spotify channel, and it was a little bit of a motivating speech. I talked about how a lot of you feel shame and guilt and fear and worry about your goals and whether or not they're possible, whether or not you're worthy, whether you're good enough or not. And it was sort of a little reassuring hug from me to you telling you that you are more than good enough. I thought I would share it here on this YouTube channel so that none of you miss out. But if you'd like to listen to more of these kind of little motivation, motivating speeches, I do a ton of these, like I said, over on my Spotify channel. I'll leave a link in the description below to that. But I promise all of you are capable of greatness. I promise you're capable of amazing things and the big, beautiful dreams and hopes and goals that you have, you can achieve. If I can do it, you sure as hell can too. Hello, wonderful people. I've been working with a few new coaching clients recently who feel quite a bit of shame and guilt about a lot of things, but especially about their goals. And for context, these two guys are working on their sex and dating life and they feel, you know, like guilt and shame when it comes to going outside and hitting on women. They have all sorts of emotions and thoughts in their head of, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, wouldn't I be bothering a woman if I hit on her? I have to wait till I'm more attractive, you know, normal people don't do this, what if she's busy, what if she has a boyfriend, what if she doesn't want to talk to me, what if I annoy her? And today's podcast is me basically just telling you all of that is okay. A lot of you feel that way, I used to feel that way, I used to think that what I was doing was weird. I definitely felt like that with talking to women and hitting on women. I felt that way when I first started doing BDSM. I very much felt that way when I started my coaching business and I started working with my first couple of clients. I felt like it was wrong to charge money. I felt like I might be or I was worried about exploiting people. I was terrified that asking for money from people who were sad or hurting or just wanted love or just wanted sex was somehow like using them or taking advantage of them. And it's funny because I look back now and it's like, how could you possibly be taking advantage of someone by helping them reach their goals? But the point is I had a lot of shame and guilt at the start. And I can say the same thing when it comes to dating and hitting on women. A lot of you have these fears of like, what if I bother them? What if I annoy them? What if they don't want to talk to me? What if I use women? Or what if they think I used them when I didn't mean to? I was just trying to have a good time with them. But what you come to see when you get a little bit more sexual and dating experience, particularly if you do it in an ethical, honest, and upfront way, and you try and always leave women better than you found them, and you try and always give them a good time, and all of that kind of stuff, you come to see that dating and sex is a beautiful gift of you know two people sharing experiences coming together, I mean, sometimes literally coming together, whether that's sex, whether that's intimacy, conversation, hanging out, adding to each other's lives, pushing each other to achieve greatness, supporting each other with your goals, you know, having great communication, all of that is beautiful. And it's something that most women or a lot of women are seeking. Like maybe I'll just say all women, basically every person on the planet wants to connect with other human beings. You know, there are some exceptions to that, but the vast majority of human beings want to connect with other people, either physically or with conversation or by shared interests and hobbies and having great communication and great conversation and having a great time together. That's something that basically every human being wants. And so how could it ever be a bad thing if you are going out there and hitting on women because you want them to have a good time? And as long as you're being, you know, respectful or, you know, not taking it personally, if they're not interested, then how could it ever be a bad thing? But I understand the shame and the guilt and the fear and the uncertainty because I had all of that. And something that helped me a lot was my favorite author at the time, Good Looking Loser, Chris from Good Looking Loser. And he wrote quite a few articles, which were basically just a nice big warm hug and a reassurance that what I wanted wasn't bad or wrong or silly or stupid, or I wasn't using women. Like it's okay to want the things that I wanted. And he really helped me with that. And that's the message that I try and get across in all of my content. All of your goals are beautiful. They're sacred. They're amazing. And I will do everything I possibly can with all of you to help you achieve those goals. You know, if it's a small goal or a giant goal, 
whether it's something related to sex and dating or relationships, whether it's marriage and kids, maybe you want to lose weight, maybe you want to overcome your depression and be able to leave the house, maybe you'd like to let go of some of the shame and the guilt and feel like it's okay to want the things that you want. But the entire point of my content is to basically be here for you in the same way that Chris was there for me and to show you lots of love and show you that, yeah, like I said, it's okay to want the things that you want. It's okay to have fears and shame around the things that you want. And I've said this in a couple of podcasts recently, but something that's been helping one of these coaching clients that I'm working with right now, the, the guy or one of the guys that has a lot of shame, is I'm getting him to add at the end of every sentence the words, and that's okay. You know, I'm scared to go out to talk to women, and that's okay. I'm worried that I might be seen as using them if I want casual sex, and that's okay. I'm scared that they'll think I'm too old for them, and that's okay. I'm scared that I'm not attractive enough for them, and that's okay. I'm worried about people judging me, and that's okay. If you just add the sentence, and that's okay to everything, it gives you a little bit of acceptance and a little bit of self-love and a little bit of peace about what you're doing. Because again, at the end of the day, you can look at intention. And I know most of you, I don't know all of you personally, but I know my audience pretty well, especially over on YouTube where I get to interact with people and they leave comments. You all are unbelievably lovely men and women. Like you are. You all have such big fucking hearts. And at the core of it, if you have any shame or guilt or worry about what you're doing, it's because you're fundamentally a person who wants other people to feel love and to feel good and to be supported in what they want and for you to support yourself in what you want. Like you have kindness and compassion inside you. And so I say, go out there and share that. What more beautiful gift could you give to the world and to other people and to women than to share yourself with them? Every woman that you don't hit on is someone that could have gotten to know you and get to know the gift that is you. Every person that you could have asked if they're interested in your product or whatever it is that you're selling is a person that could have been helped by you. Every person that you don't go up to and make friends with is someone that could have gotten to know you and had a great experience with you and become best friends and push each other to greatness and all of that beautiful stuff. Like all of you have so many gifts inside of you, so much greatness inside of you, and you're holding back out of fear or shame or guilt, and that's okay. I did the same thing for many years. But I promise you, if you go out there with that positive intention, if you set love or happiness or something positive as your guide, or even just set honesty and truth as your guide, and go out there and aim to have every single action or most of the actions that you take and all of that align with love or compassion or truth or honesty or something positive or building something or growth or evolution, you know, all of that kind of stuff. If you set that as your northern light or your lighthouse or the thing that you aim towards, then you don't worry so much about like hurting people or what if I use them or what if what I'm doing is bad or what if people judge me. You're not worried about that. You're focused on what you want, which is to spread love and positivity, positivity and good vibes and all of that beautiful stuff. I talk about all of this in my video course, in the Play to Win video course. There's a, a link in the description below to that. I have a whole bunch of chapters on this exact topic. You can pay whatever you want for that video course. It's basically pay by donation. Even if you want to give me $1 for it, go ahead and give me $1 for it. But in that video course, I talk about all of this, about playing to win rather than playing not to lose. And when you focus on your shame or your guilt or your fear or what could go wrong or what if I get judged or any of that, you're playing not to lose. You're focusing on not losing. You're like, God, I hope I don't lose. But if we instead set the goal to win, to have a great experience, to spread some love, to spread good vibes, to have a good time with the men and the women and anyone else that you might meet and, you know, share something sexual or something friendly or something romantic, whatever it is. You know, if you go out there with those positive vibes and you play to win, man, the world opens up to you and beautiful things start to happen. And now you actually have a chance of what you want, of getting what you want, which is to be happy and to have other people in your life be happy too. That's what you all want. It's what basically everybody on the entire planet wants to be happy and to have other people around them that they care about be happy too. And so focus on that. Don't focus on the shame or the guilt or the fear or any of that. It's okay to feel those things. Of course, that's natural. You didn't choose to feel shame or guilt or fear, but you notice those emotions and then you choose to focus on the positive things that you want. 
you want to be happy, you want to spread good vibes, you want to have great sexual experiences, I'm assuming most of you. A lot of you want to build a beautiful big business and make tons of money and go out there and spread fucking positivity in the world with your money and have a great experience. And maybe some of you want to build a family and have kids. We have a couple of guys in the coaching group who have kids and we're helping them be better fathers. And I've worked with other fathers before. And whatever your goals are, focus on that. You know, the fear, the shame, the guilt, all of that is perfectly okay to feel. But you don't have to focus on it. You don't have to obsess about it. It's okay to feel all of that, and then you take action anyway. Obviously, if you want my help with this, you can hit me up for coaching. There's a link in the description below to that. But I promise you, it's okay to feel shame. It's okay to have fears. It's okay to worry that you're too old or too this or too that or not good enough or unworthy for all of your goals. That's such a normal thing to feel. But we feel those things, and then we take a little bit of action anyway. You know, Take some baby steps towards what you want. Do a little bit every day, get some accountability partners. You know, I talk, maybe I don't talk enough about the value of accountability partners, but having some other people in your corner that will push you and support you and look after you, everything I've ever done has been with accountability. And so go on, you know, my old forums or go on some forums, go grab a couple of buddies or friends together and push each other with your goals. You know, if you're in a relationship, get your partner to support you once a week, do an accountability check-in where you push each other with your goals. You know, you're welcome to join my coaching program. That's a big part of the coaching program is accountability. But get other people to support you and do it with them. But I promise you, it literally is just taking baby steps every day, show up every day, and don't quit. That's the formula to success for any goal. And it's okay to feel fears and have limiting beliefs and doubts and insecurities God knows I've felt all of that my entire life with every goal that I've ever achieved, but you feel all of that and you take action anyway. I promise all of you are capable of the beautiful big goals that you have and the dreams and the hopes and the amazing lives that you want to live, and I'd love to see you all achieve those things. It really is just a series of baby steps. That's how I've done everything. A tiny little bit every day. You just keep showing up. And over enough months or years, you eventually stumble your way to the goal. And it doesn't have to be glamorous. You don't have to do a good job. You can suck. You can not have any clue what you're doing. And sometimes you can feel like you're just making it up as you go. That's how most of my, or all of my goals have felt. I've never really known what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm kind of just making it up as I go. But if I do it for long enough and take enough action or a tiny bit of action every single day, eventually I get there. All of you can do the same thing. I believe in you. I know that you're capable of it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to this. But some of you just set the bar a little bit too high or you put pressure on yourself that you have to do all this shit all at once. You know, you have to fix everything that's broken about you. Nothing is broken. You are perfectly okay as you are right now. And all we're doing every day is we're just adding a little bit on top. You are more than good enough as you are. And then we're just adding a little bit on top. We're getting a little bit more. We're growing a little bit every day. We're evolving. We're building a tiny bit at a time, but I promise you, you are enough right now. I promise you, you are capable of greatness. If I can do it, you sure as hell can too.